Right, so now time just to make the surface look a bit more realistic. So over in the materials panel, we're going to do a couple of different things. We're going to change that to glossy. Um, I'll put the roughness up a bit. And we're going to load an image texture. So that'll be in the description down below. So add your image texture. And open the grass. Grass texture. Then we've got to map it onto the ball. This will be quite easy. And now it's a, a sphere. We'll um, have no problems doing this. I'm going to get rid of these tool panels. So push T and push N. Same over here, T and N. I need to unwrap this, so I'll go into edit mode. And if this is not all selected, like you've changed something since we last played with it, so you've got nothing selected, go into face select mode and hold down alt and then select near the line in the middle of that face and it will select the whole outside but we want to select also the next row on either side so hold down control and push plus and it will select that and what we actually want to select is the outside part of that the opposite of what we just selected so this is just the easiest way of doing it so hold down control and push i and there you are now push u and just unwrap that one use the top setting and oh, we don't need to do that one i need to just i don't really need to see that so much just a big big picture of it sort of there um i have a look at this side you go to uv image editor and we'll have a look at the grass texture so that's unwrapped it quite well there that's what we're after i'm going to go into rendered view so i can see what it looks like so that's not great so what we're going to do is um, scale scale it so you think it looks what you think might look like a good texture size for a tennis ball what um, so if we can just increase that um, shininess a bit by decreasing the roughness so just having a look at that next of all we're going to get out of this one and go to the node editor so we'll change some things around here i can go over there that can go up here and we're going to put a couple more nodes in so go to color rgb curves so what we can do here is just adjust the color something you think might look a bit better as the tennis ball color okay the green one no, just something that's going to look sort of half decent and we're also going to connect this color output to the displacement input and we're going to add a node in between it so it's going to be a converter math and we're going to use the divide okay um, just you could play around with it slide it so you think you find something sort of worth having might decrease the amount of gloss on that one so increase the roughness
So you can play around with the way these curves work. I'm just trying to change the colour a bit. I think maybe I could get a bit better colour out of it. Hmm. That's not too bad. Just adds a bit of texture to the tennis ball. Might change the map a bit too, see if that affects it a bit. So I go to the UV image editor and just scale it. So these are things that you can play around with. I might change that. It's, I think it's starting to get sort of where I half expect it to be. So I found a, a value, 3.8, that looks good. So I'm going to leave that like that. And in the UV image editor, my scale is looks like that compared to the square in the middle. Next we're going to texture the line. So for now, come over to the materials tab and choose this white material. And then go down here to the node editor. So now we're going to just make a bit of a texture in this line here. So I'm going to change this one here to glossy. So I'll do that here. Give that about half, a bit over half of roughness. And next, I can increase the roughness here too. We're going to add, so Shift A, Texture, Voronoi, Texture. This is going to be the roughness. And I also want to add, so Shift A and a converter, not that one, converter. Math. So add those into the displacement. So join those up. So for the scale down here, let's zoom in so you can see it. For the scale on this one, we're going to do 500. And this value is going to be, let's make it 12. And instead of add, we're going to make it divide. That gives us a bit of roughness for that line. So, lastly, I might just create a bit of a, a scene environment. And so we'll get rid of this. So we'll have a look at the tennis ball itself. Push tab to go into object mode, push one on the number pad to go into front view and just move that up above the red line there. Push shift C. Let's put our cursor in the middle and I'll push the full stop on the number pad to bring uh, the tennis ball back to the center. Now I'll push shift A and add a plane. 
might zoom out a bit to see the scale of this. So push S, pull it out. It doesn't need to be too big. For, for I'm just going to have a bit of a just a small scene. So push tab, go into edit mode, and push T to bring your toolbar back. Push W, and we'll go subdivide. And we'll subdivide that by, let's say, 20. Maybe 25. That looks... This, so I'm going to make the lines for the tennis court. So I'll do 22. It's not going to be crucial. So push A. Now hold down Alt and select a couple of rows. Uh, hold down Alt and Shift, and we'll just hold down Shift and just deselect those ones. Now go to Materials side, um, just add a white for the line, and also add another material, and add the colour of court that you want. So I might do some sort of blue court. And the hex value is there if you want to use that. So it's 2763E7. You're more than welcome to use the same colours. Um, next. Let's see what that looks like. Not much. Why is that? Because we need to assign the blue to everything else. So control, hold down control, push I, inverse, select, go to materials pad, panel and assign that blue. There is your, your lines for your tennis court. Now I'm going to push T on the notepad to get rid of the toolbar and open up another, another, um, Another another window. Sorry, it's a bit noisy here at the moment. There's some workers doing work on the um, one of the rooms. So I'm a bit distracted. That's all. Now I'm going to unwrap this. So I'm going to push seven on the numpad. Go into object mode. Select the whole thing. And push U and unwrap. Now I'm going to go into node editor. And I'll put this window into into the view for the tennis ball. It's sort of roughly what I think the camera's going to be, basically. So for this blue, we might just do a bit of roughness for the tennis court. Okay, so now to make this look a bit better, so we're going to add some roughness to the blue, but not from here. We're going to add our texture again, our Voronoi. Add another math. Converter. There we are, math. Can you connect those together? And the scale is going to be 4,000. And the value is going to be 15. And what else are we doing? Same to the white. I'll give it a glossy texture as well. It's going to sort of make it stand out. So let's change that to a glossy, and we'll put that up a bit. And we'll also do the same to the white lines. So over here, got the white line, okay, we'll make it that glossy. Let's move that out a bit. Oh, and there, do the roughness up a bit. Add our math converter and our 
texture. Let's pop those in. So it'll start looking better soon. I'll change that to multiply. Let's see how it looks. Now we're going to go to the world settings over here, use nodes, and make it a bit brighter in here. So that's, that's quite helpful to add some brightness. Now you can play with your um, settings of your lines and things to make it look a bit um, better. I might do, the, do that just for a few seconds. Uh, what have we got? See if that changes anything. On the blue. Go back to the white line. What do I want? So for, yeah, for this one we'll go 4,000, if you differentiate it maybe from the blue a bit more. And if it starts to make it all a bit dark, you can either go back in settings or you can go back to the world tab. Uh, increase the strength as well, that's something we can do. And if you think that might look okay, oh, I think that looks not too bad. So I'm going to render that one out. So I'm going to push zero on the number pad, go to the camera view, and try and find a good angle. Render that out and see how it looks. Push F12. That's not too bad, so we'll go Control S, save it, and we'll pump up the uh, render settings a bit. So go render, might do a thousand, and um, see what we come up with. Well, I should have realised that um, it could add a something else so push zero get out of there i'm going to go back into object mode just select the ball solid view so i've pushed said to toggle that one um the lighting is not very good so i'm going to change i'm going to put the camera in the view so i can see where it is now i want a bit of a shadow So what I'm going to do is, with this lamp, I'll change it to a sun lamp. Just push R and rotate that direction. Go to um, front view by pushing 1 and push R, rotate that up. Now I want a shadow, so we're going to camera view and then rendered mode again. So it's starting to put a bit of a shadow there. So that's good. What I'll do is go use nodes over here. Go a bit of a sun colour. We we'll also need a bit more strength. There we go. Looks a bit more like a real thing. Um, so yes, I cancelled that last render as I was rendering it and realised that there was no shadow. Um, or it didn't look very good. But this time, it, it does look a bit better. So I'll render this one out. And there you have it, the final result. I hope that, that all worked out for you as well. See you later.